Take two. Hey, uh, Heidi. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Hey! Oh. Yay! Hello, everyone. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. There's a crazy hype train already happening. Pivipto is gifting subs, like, chat's going insane. And there's so many Jills. Everyone is just in chat. Let me just tell you, Heidi. Everyone Everybody in chat <laughs> is just, like, so excited. They're all like, Heidi! Hello. Um, hello. hello, everyone. Welcome to the Jillyverse. This is it into into the universe of so many valentines from so many eras and all beloved um i am here clearly with the irreplaceable heidi anderson swan who you know as uh, jill valentine in the resident evil remake from 2002 she's literally been missing from from the interwebs <laughs> she's she's been incognito gone just disappeared into the into the mysterious ethos of the universe um up until what was it heidi when 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 did uh, it was crimson elder who found you the podcast right yeah. yes they did when did they find yeah. you that was only like a, uh, a couple months ago oh no a couple years oh it was a couple, it's been a couple years it was a couple I years know, right Wow, feels like I feel like it's months. I feel like it's only been a couple of months because everyone just started like realize it's like people didn't realize until the coronavirus when we all got stuck inside. And we're like, wait a second, oh, <laughs> is that right? I feel I don't know. Like I didn't I didn't see you like it didn't get brought to my attention. I think like in on the, in the internet and that sort of stuff until like Residents of Evil Con. I knew a little bit before that, like, oh, they'd found the actress who who did Jill. Um, but I think, <laughs> because I literally remember when Resident Evil 3 first came out mm -hmm. in March, like someone tweeting like, oh yeah, we don't know, like Heidi Anderson is who did the Jill in remake, but we, we don't like, she's not on social media. We don't really know where she mm -hmm. is. I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. So then when I actually saw your face pop up for Residents of Evil Con, I was like, oh my gosh, like I could just reach out and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> and you did I that did. was so great that was so great when you did that you so guys like, should oh hey yeah this you sounds should, you should see our no. little email to each other i literally was like jill meets jill hi yeah I, Hello. Uh, <laughs> you're kind of iconic uh in the yeah. resident evil world uh as, oh, as that's so great and i just want to know so like like, did how long was it before you realized that people really cared about this game that you had done? So there, well, there was one time um, uh, when my son was about seven and my stepson was about 10. And uh, so that would have been like 10 years ago or so. We went to GameStop to um so they could turn in some games and we're not we don't really game at this house period and so but they did a little lego batman you know yeah, yeah. I mean, it was really and then nba 2k and that's really it and so we we went and they wanted to turn in some old lego games for you know nba 2k and um i said oh i want to maybe my game is here i don't know and so i said do you have you have Resident Evil? Have you heard of this Resident it? Evil? <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, which one is it? <laughs> and so I pulled it off and, and I showed them, I said, see, there's my name right on the back. And one of the people working there was like, are you, were you in the game? And I said, yeah, I'm, I, I'm Heidi Anderson. I did, I did Jill Valentine. And she was like, she was really very impressed. Oh, um, she, wow. Yeah, and the boys were like, whoa, you know, because she dropped to her knees. <laughs> no way! Oh my gosh. Yeah. She was like, are you serious? So I pulled out my driver's license because it has my whole name, Heidi right. Anderson Swan, on yeah. it. So, so she could see. So, I mean, that was, I was kind of surprised, you know, I had, that was really my first indication that people um, care. That, yeah, I mean, I had no idea that people cared about the voices behind the characters. I had no idea. Yeah, no, yeah. Whatsoever. I mean, so I just kind of didn't think much about it, kind of, you know, time went on. And then um, I wrote this book and I wrote this film based on the book. And because of that, I had to get on IMDb. I had to get on social media. And I really didn't want to. <laughs> do any of that because I have um, I have some pretty gripping anxiety and it just 
So I was like, I don't know, this is making me anxious just even thinking about it. Well, you, know, getting... you wouldn't be able to tell. Let me tell you, you come off as very graceful. And I know for a fact there's a lot of people in the Resident Evil community that like could relate to that because I've had a lot of people reach out, especially during this time, and just be like, hey, like these streams have really just helped just make my anxiety feel better, like make life feel better, just like giving me a place to feel calm, because that's something that I love about this this chat and, and these people and, and just getting to kind of nerd out in the game community in general is like, you'll find people from all walks of life, all different yeah. experiences, um, and they can come together and just be supportive. And I, I don't know, that's what we really promote here. Anyone anyone in chat knows that, so you're gonna fit right in as far as... Uh... <laughs> well, you've just kind of got that energy going, Nicole. I mean, you're just very, you know, cool and supportive and kind and so I mean I think you're really putting that out there and that oh, it's really you. nice it's and it's very nice as, for me as a guest to come on you know when when you're like that and so thank you so much don't worry guys um, this is going to turn into a compliment war just wait that's, yeah I, know. That's, I just I want you to know more. by the end of this we're going to be best friends the sleepover is going to happen uh next what? week <laughs> so yeah so i so i got up there and i um, got my stuff out and i was like <laughs> okay i did it okay uh and <laughs> And then, which is so opposite of Jill Valentine, which is so funny because everybody's like, oh, you're so tough, you're so cool. And I'm like, yeah, in real life, I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I could never do any of the things that Jill does, especially with, you know, the, you know, the <clears throat> aplomb, just go, yeah, I'm going to go get those guys. Totally. Uh, no, that's not new. No. No, no, hey, not me at all. I mean that's one of the joys of of acting. Let's be honest. People people know, having seen me on this stream, like I am a complete goofball uh, as of a human yeah. being who constantly yeah. launches into song. You haven't experienced that yet, but it just happens. Um, and at the same time, we have these different parts of our personality and the ability to tell stories and and jump into someone else's shoes. And that's one of the greatest gifts yeah. of being an artist. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So, so it was shortly after I I got on IMDb that I got the email from Crimson Head, and um, and they were like, uh, "Are you <laughs> Heidi Anderson from Resident, Resident Evil?" Evil? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I was." And they said, like, "Do you know that people have been trying to find you?" I was like, "No." Oops. No, I did not know that. And I was really kind of, I mean, I was just really taken aback by it. And it has been nothing but a joy in my life. Honestly, it has been nothing but joy for me. Because, I mean, what, I did it 20 years ago, maybe more. I, I've lost count. But the fact that anybody thinks of me at all, I mean, it's just, it's just such a joy You've for me. You've been and, found. And so yeah. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah. I don't. You may or may not know this, but like it's a it's a bit of a personal mission for me too. I'm I'm so passionate about artists, about storytellers, about the people behind the scenes of these video games because I come from film and TV, I come from theater, like I come from a love of acting, and I've just really loved being able to like bring on other actors, directors, some of the people behind the cinematic creative parts of mm -hmm. these games that are becoming more and more and more like big playable movies. Um, in um, some ways. So this is like one of my joys is to bring on people that got to pour, pour their acting into it that may not have known. Like people care who voiced it. Like people care, you know, who helped bring those characters to life. So it's a real, real pleasure to get to to bring, you know, this, such an amazing woman that came before and I got to follow in many ways in your uh, footsteps getting to, to, to bring her to life um, in 2020. Literally 2002 to 2020. That's, yeah. It's been a few years. It's been a few years. It has. Yeah. It has. Um, so if you guys can tell already, chat, um, the likelihood of me getting very far in this game <coughs> is very, very small. We'll do our best. We'll we're do gonna, our best. We're going to watch. We're going to play. Which is the right thing. And she is going to watch. And I'm going to watch. And... and you guys know, if you've watched any of these already, I've been playing through this game at a literal snail pace. Like, there's zero excuse. It's just my experience, and I'm embracing it, and I'm having fun. Um, and I already pre-warned Heidi. I was like, Heidi, we may make it through three rooms, and that might be okay. the entirety of the yeah. stream. <laughs> yeah. But
but we're gonna chat so, along the way. And I'm, I'm honestly, in some ways, like I just want to keep talking to you, and I know my ability to multitask is gonna like diminish. Um, I also want to address. There's been so many people uh, donating and saying hello and and following, and I will get to you guys if you have questions and you donated and you want me to take a look. I will see it. I promise. Sir Cake TV said hello, Jills. Hi, Sir Cake TV. <laughs> Hello. Dark Knight said, what's blue and makes everyone very happy? A Jill sandwich. A I just know. <laughs> That's us. Um, Heidi, check out this this mug. I've got a remake Jill. Oh. Art. Oh, I like mug. it. Mug and on the back it says it's Jill. It's Jill. Where did you get that? Um, it, it got special made. It got special made. It was made special mm -hmm. for you. All right. Yeah, that I also I also have your your Jill there's a there's only one Jill Valentine pop, which is like a very popular fan item thing. Okay. And yes. one of the amazing fans sent me this Jill Valentine pop and it is only Jill Aww. Valentine from with her in her stars officer outfit, Aww. which is your your Jill. There she is. Wow. So she sat in, so she's great. sitting on my shelf in solid oh, I just dropped an <laughs> herb! Dead I started! It's fine. I fixed it. Purple herb. No worries. It's good. Thanks, Brad. Um, all right. So I'm going to definitely try to click and play this game. It's going to be harder than I think. And yeah, basically what happened last time that I was playing, we're, we're like about to jump into saving Richard again. Oh, Richard. Yes, Richard. Richard. Um, and last time I did a bunch of stuff and then died and had to play it again, which is just is what happens with this game over okay, and over. Okay, can I just tell you something? Yes. I didn't know that Jill could die. Jill can die a lot. Did you, what about when you did, what, what so what were you, do you remember doing oh, Death I, I should know that because I remember making all these dying, I mean, it just, but it just didn't really, I mean, I'd it make all, but I didn't, didn't know that she would like die, die. Die, die, yeah. right. So does it register now? What yeah, those were right. for? See, now that I remember. Is, this is what I really want to know, is I want to know, like, the process for you. Can you run me through, like, how how did you, how, what was the audition process like? What was doing video games in, essentially, I mean, I guess you probably did it in 2000 or 2001, but essentially yeah, like late 90s, early 2000s. What was the yeah. process for you as, as an actor? So I went into my agent's office and they just had me read the script. I think there was a might maybe there was a, a picture of Jill, maybe. And okay. I just read through it and I got the job. Amazing. And yeah. Yeah. And back then, I mean, we have to, I, like I was saying, I was uh, discussing this um, the other day. We didn't, we had no idea how big video games were going to be. And, right. and we had just been through a strike, you know, a, a recently, yeah. the union. And we were, I mean, we were marching in circles for a long time. And um, it's to our detriment that we did not have any uh, big changes for video games at that time. Yep. Uh, because, uh, you know, we really should have gotten a, a piece of, of this. Um, but yep. Yeah, and so when so I may have um, gotten the picture, and then um, I went in to do the um, to do the job, and there was no video or anything. It was me alone in a sound yep on you know, the sound stage with the, and Here me and the you. director. Speaking of, we give you a shot. Huh? In there. there you are. Oh, where am I? I got you talking. Oh, there I. Here's my radio. I can't hear me. I'll turn it off. Does it ever not hurt? Oh, did you hear Richard? Uh-uh. Oh, weird. You should be able to hear it. Hmm. Oh. Can you hear the footsteps? Mm -mm. I don't like it. Wait, <laughs> wait, everyone. I'm going to make sure that Heidi can hear this, because that's really important. Um, sorry, I totally cut you off, and I want you to continue telling me what it, the first, 
um, audition. So basically, you just went to your agency, you recorded it, you got into the sound booth, yeah. you booked it, mm -hmm. you were in the sound oh, booth. Oh, and we had, we had no idea what a, a big deal video games were going to be. No right. clue. Right. None of us. And in fact, I remember um, somebody at my agent's office saying, you know, kind of like, oh, this is probably the, um, an area that'll be good for you, you know, doing video games. And and they and it was sort of inferred in a way that since I wasn't getting a lot of commercial commercial voiceovers or radio spots, that it might work out for me to do video games. Not so high on the on the rung, but right. it'll be okay. It'll be like a little, you know, this will like work out thing. for you. Like a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like no big deal. Right. And so, you know, whatever. But I, I went in and it was it was a great time. I had a great time. It was just, you know, a couple so of days. Fun. I was like, how long, did, how long did it take? How many days of record? Do you remember? Not long, like two days, maybe. Wow, super maybe. fast. And, At yeah, that time, and then like, were you remember. doing four-hour sessions? Do you remember? Or was it longer sessions? I think, it, I, think I had. Uh, I feel like it was... Okay, my memory fails. It's, it's fine. I'm I did, just curious. We did one session, and then several months later, we did another session. So they to needed pick to um, pick up some more yeah. uh, voices from me. But right. I'm pretty sure it might have been two four-hour sessions, and then another uh, two after that, maybe so. Okay. But but that, and there, I mean, so I had to imagine everything in my head. Maybe that's why you know when they say make some dying sounds, you know, you're being squished by a couple of walls. It's just it's a different part in, in my memory for me. It's like, okay, I'll just oh, okay. You know, sound like I'm dying, but I didn't have any visuals with it. And so tell me what it's like for you. Yeah, I mean, oh gosh, uh, guys, my ability to play this game and talk at the same time is going to be super, <laughs> just, just, just straight up. I also, for some reason, can you hear, can you hear that, Heidi? No. Like, oh, I can hear you clicking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's the clicking. Okay. You should be able okay. to hear it. I don't, it might just be kind of low on your end. Um, oh, okay. I turn it up for everyone now. Shoot, you're probably super loud. Um, I'm just going to go to audio, game audio, and, oh, oh no, I'm not, because I pressed the wrong button. Um, oh, wow. Fun. Uh, wow. Okay. I have no idea how to use my controls. Uh, return settings to default? No. All right. Well, if you can hear the clicking, you should be able to hear it. I'm gonna yeah. take these herbs. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I don't know how much of the how much of the video game processes do you kind of know nowadays? We have we have motion capture. We have you know facial capture. We have uh, voiceover booth work, which you're gonna be very familiar with. Um, mm -hmm. So so nowadays, like uh, for Resident Evil Three which I don't know how much of that storyline that you know, but it basically, it takes place, um, will you take this herb? Yes, I will take this herb! Give me the herb! Mm -hmm. um, it, it takes place after the events of this game, uh, mm -hmm. when Jill's basically back out in the city and this yeah. infection that you see all these monsters uh, here in this mansion has spread through, I think it's the okay. water, um, to the rest of the city. So it's like a full on zombie apocalypse, like it's a zombie city. And she's got to go through some crazy missions in this city to try and help get survivors out of the city, as um, well as sort of figure out what Umbrella's doing, try and find the serum to, to solve it, and, and some of those sorts of things. And so she meets a whole bunch of people along the way. We do have Brad shows up for a little bit, um, who's in this game as well. And basically, oh, I should pause it if it's gone. I'm gonna just talk over it. Um, and so, so yeah, you kind of get to see her post this. So in some ways I get to look at uh, clips of this, clips of the originals and go like, it's kind of the PTSD that Jill sort of has experienced from all that she's been through already in, in this game. Um, and then what comes after having to deal with everything in the city. Um, so like for me, we, we do, we started with motion capture, so we're doing full performance capture on a stage. We get to act against the other actors. We have the ball suits with the balls all over. Um, wow. And we're wearing helmets that capture our facial performance as well. Wow. So it's basically like being on camera, and then they have cameras, actual cameras around the stage that they're filming as well as reference footage. So it's like this whole you know, immersive experience, right? We, we get the chance to kind of work against other actors and still a lot of imagination involved because there's 
zero set and there's no you know wardrobe or anything like that we're we're all just basically making make believe together um so that's kind of the the mocap experience and then we end up we did that in japan actually and then we did a bunch really? of really yeah flew to japan, flew to japan. Oh how very, fun is that very fun i everyone knows here i'm i'm a huge lover of japan and i highly recommend anyone go if they have the chance um, okay. If you have the chance to go, always go. That is my answer. All right, I saved him. That's good news. Um, so we went to Japan, and then we also do voiceover booth work, although it's a little bit different, because at this point we, we, we know what the characters look like. We pretty well have context for most of what's happening, because we've done a lot of the physical mm-hmm. acting. Um, and then oftentimes mm-hmm. we'll wear facial performance gear in the booth as well and they'll get facial performance for what you're saying um which is kind of kind of cool right so it's just you you see the sort of the evolution of of the technology um and and how that happened oh, there's gonna be a zombie yeah please just let me let me be let me be oh yes um this game's a lot about dodging and it's not one of my strong suits. In Resident Evil 3, Heidi, they actually um, they actually gave Jill a dodging function. <laughs> oh, okay. Which was one of my favorite parts of that game, because you could actually <laughs> dodge zombies. So when, um, when I was in the voice booth, they had a camera outside the booth that was filming. <laughs> But it was nothing oh, at all like what you just did. I just died. That's you it. You just died? Did you hear because yourself? Because I was talking. Yeah, I just completely died. <laughs> oh, there, see? Look at There's that. A whole... See, she passed away. No. I just killed no. you. I would like to apologize in advance for how many more times we're going to listen to you go. <sighs> did I just do that? <laughs> That's what she did. You didn't hear it. It's not loud enough. I don't know why it's not loud enough. It. Turn me up, Heidi. Turn it up. <laughs> um, which unfortunately means I have to just redo what I just did. Will I ever well, like get up my volume? We'll see if that helps. Okay. Hopefully. Um, admittedly, I've gotten very used to that particular vocal performance because I, I managed to kill you a lot. <laughs> That, okay, so what does it sound like exactly? I go, uh... Yeah, yeah, basically. It's just, just the fading death. She's gone. Uh, just like, that's it. And okay. she's gone. Um, unfortunately, every time I do this, put it put it away, put it away, put it, put it away. Uh, I have to redo what I've already done. <laughs> and that's what I get for dying. All right, equip. Will Nicole be able to play this game and literally talk to Heidi Anderson at the same time? No, I don't, but she no, sure is gonna much. try. So I'm gonna tell you though, um, after Crimson had uh, Elder reached out to me and um, they said, oh, we'd like to do an interview with you. I thought, okay, well maybe I should look up some of this, you know, some Resident Evil things. And that's when I discovered that there were Resident Evil clips on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Whoa! Oh, well, that's me! That's my voice! I can. I mean, it was really kind of a whoa experience, right. you know? Yeah, yeah. What was. I mean, <laughs> do you ever look back? Like, do you have any opinion? I know you're not acting anymore, correct? You decided to stop acting. Yeah, yeah I stopped acting like 20 years ago. So, a long mm-hmm. time ago. So, do you ever look back and like have any opinions about it? Or are you just kind of like, that's cool? <laughs> um, oh yeah, totally. That's cool. Totally, totally that's cool. I, yeah, I'm like, wow, well, I like it. You know, I like the game, of course. Everything that I've seen in it, yeah. I think it's you know great. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> I love it. It's a really yeah. scary game in some ways. Like, it's so funny to kind of look back at at you know older horror. It's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying to actually be playing this because yeah. it, they do such a good job at just just the sound the sound effects and the going through every door and and the fixed camera angles like it it just yeah. creates this atmosphere can you hear this Richard, i'm gonna give you a shot hang in there no 
So no, bummer. But I can tell you what I really, what has really struck me about this game, and I've said this um, on other interviews, is I love the moody lighting. Every scene, there's a different source of light, and it yeah. creates an amazing mood in each room. Like you can see where the light is coming from over there, you know, and where yeah. the light is coming from over here, and how that. Uh, shades the the setting and I just uh, that's my favorite one of my most favorite things about the game I love that yeah it makes it feel super cinematic and pretty and we've got you know, fireflies and one you know on the lamps lightning coming through I mean I just love yep I, love uh, all of that. I was one of the things I was surprised when I started actually playing this I'd seen clips like I knew you know what it looks like, um, mm -hmm. but this is my first time, like actually, you know, being behind the controls and 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 going for it, and it's it's See? really beautiful. Look at that light! <laughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it's flickering. Okay, so how long were you in Japan? So I went to Japan two different times, um, uh, which was really lucky because I got to go in both spring and fall, which are like the most um. beautiful times in Japan. Um, yeah. uh, that's not true. I did summer and fall. So I, I, I went to spring, uh, spring in Japan later, um, but summer and fall. Um, and uh, it was about two weeks each time. Really? Um, so it's about over a, over a month of kind of like filming different, you know, scenes and, and cinematics because, you know, you see, the, okay, don't use that. Why not? I should totally use that. It's the, no, use it. Hold on. <laughs> use it. Please, Jill. Please. Use it, darling. Use it. There it is. Um, oh, lovely. And so, yeah, I got very used to being in Japan and kind of like working with the Japanese team was also such a ooh, wow it's so hard to see see okay. the candle light i know it's so pretty and how does like that light the room oh now he's getting back up all right will you take the music score yes yes i will please move excuse me excuse me thank you oh i made it i made it heidi <laughs> I keep, I keep opening my inventory Yay. when I mean to go through doors, because that's just what happens, but generally I'm making it. Um, oh, I didn't say this, but I really intended to, and I'm going to say it now. Guys, if you would like to follow Heidi, um, there is a command in chat right there. You can follow her on Twitter. She has information about her books and, and her, her passion and her movie. Um, and, and she's uh, an advocate for mental health and uh, the risks of mental health with uh, issues with drug use. So Heidi's doing all kinds of amazing things to help, you know, try and make people's lives and worlds better. And I'm, I'm all here for that. Oh, wait, do I want to quit the game? No. Um, so in chat, guys, if you would like to follow Heidi on Twitter, um, it's in chat. Go follow Heidi because she's now on social media. And so now's the time. <laughs> if ever, if ever you were going to follow Heidi, now is the time. <laughs> We've got her now, guys. So we were just talking earlier about how, um, as an actress now, this you have to have the social media thing going. I mean, this was like, it was a non-topic when, uh, yeah, when we I acting. left the acting world. Yeah. And it's, now it's, it's interesting, heard, right? It's, it's, yes. Kind of and I've heard people, I've heard people say that, you know, how many followers you have can determine if you get a job or not. It can yeah. have, oh, please. Yes. Oh, there's so many zombies in this room. Great. Love, love all of the zombies. We'll come back to them later. Um, yeah, I think social media plays a really kind of unique role in the industry. Now it plays an even more unique role because after kind of COVID hit, we all became digital. And I've said this sort of many times to um, fans and friends alike. Like, I am doing a puzzle and not thinking about it at all. So this could be terrible. Just wait. Um, 
I've really started to love the ability to just connect with people online and, and mm. really kind of like participate in this community um, mm -hmm. in so many ways. And so it's just been such a such a unique way to like connect with people and like share things that you're passionate about and also, sh you know, share in their passions for these roles that we got to like bring to life. And I'm sure you can relate to that. Um, I know that as far as like being an actor and having social media, it does, it, 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 it like having a presence, I think matters more and more as we, as we go into it, probably from a business perspective, right? Like how many people are willing to like watch the things that you're in? Um, mm -hmm. I felt very lucky because so far the Resident Evil community has just been incredibly warm towards me and I know will be excited as I have other projects come out. Um, yeah. So that's like a blessing that I feel. It's just like, oh, people yeah. that, you know, want to be invested in other things that you're doing because you helped bring something that they love to life in a way that they were yeah. really excited about. So yeah. that's like one yeah. of the, you know you know okay and so this just shows how you know naive i am in this in this arena i mean everything that i've gotten from the resident evil commun community has been nothing but nice i mean yeah. and so i can't so are other communities like that are there other gaming communities what do you guys think are we just the best are is resident evil just the best community or are there other video game communities that are that are like this too. I should be able to solve this in two and a half seconds, Heidi, and I'm just not. Okay, solve it, and then we can we can talk about that. It's a puzzle. They gotta all get pushed in. That one causes. Oh, I did it in the wrong order again. That's okay. So basically, when I push this one out, those two pop out. When I push this one in. Nothing happens, right? Is that true? Oh no, that one pops back out. Uh, okay, question mark? When I push this one and nothing happens, right? Oh no, that one. Oh, they all control each other. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm tracking. Do you see what's happening here? Well, I see something happening. Um, I'm having to puzzle. I don't want to interrupt you because and distract you from mm -mm. Mm -mm. okay we're gonna we're and i've gonna... got workers outside my house so we're gonna um, push this one in be loud. nope we've done it we're gonna push this one in and then we're gonna push this one in right nope and then that undoes undoes both of them oh my gosh it's chaos all right when i all right we're gonna push this one in No, Heidi, it's bad. Second statue, I think we're gonna do this one. All right, so that one moves that one last. I felt like this guy should have come back out at some point and hasn't. So then this one, right? Nope, nope, just, just bad. I'm just going in circles, Heidi, pushing in statues incorrectly. I'm, I have a feeling there might be somebody in the chat telling you what to do, who can, oh, I might <laughs> who can guide you. Bottom right, wait, bo bottom right to right, bottom left, top left. Bottom right to right. Mm -hmm. How do I reset it, guys? That's what I need to do. gonna work yeah. is this all the way pushed in oh that was the problem i figured it out <laughs> one wasn't pushed in one all the wasn't way. pushed in all the way and i thought that it was my bad <laughs> okay. sorry guys all right um woe to those who disturb my sleep there's a switch here press it yeah do it oh now we get a box heidi that's the good news okay um all right <laughs> What were we just saying? I'm sure it was exciting. Um, I have workers outside my house, so oh. <laughs> it's going to be a little loud. That's so fine. So sorry about that. No worries at all. Um, oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. The community. Are there other oh, gaming yes. communities? Well, what are they like? I feel like, I mean, 
I've I've met a few other gaming communities just through other actors and just in general, mm-hmm. like I, I see a lot of positive positive things from gaming communities. Mm-hmm. In any mm-hmm. community there can there can be some negative stuff that comes up, but um, I've really been protected and just like surrounded by a lot of warmth, same as you. Um, oh, so I've heard that specifically the Resident Evil community is just pretty wonderful and I have only been met with more proof of that fact. So yeah. um yeah. we'll say it's a little bit of little bit of both. We're gonna give some credit to our RE lovers. Um, so all right. So when, so in your acting career, um, yes. building social media has been a very important shoot. Ah, oh, ah, 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 I don't have a gun. Oh, oh yes I do. Hold on. I gotta equip this gun. Did Quit. uh did I die again? Nope, not yet. Oh, yes. Bye. Gotta go, gotta go. Excuse me. No, go past him. Thank you, Jill. All right. No, shoot. Where am I trying to go? Uh, yeah, through that door. We're gonna go to these red doors. They haven't been opened yet. I actually have no idea what I'm supposed to do next, Heidi. Uh, cause that, <laughs> this is as far as I've gotten. Every time I always die on those guys. Not every time, just the only times that I've ever played. <laughs> so, okay, did you see the lamps? The, now see. this is the third yes. lamp. Look at that. Oh my god! I love it. No! Oh my gosh, no! Fundamentally, no. That's a no from me. Uh, there's a terrifying and awful guy, and I hate him a lot, but I made it through that door, and we're gonna have to deal with him later. Oh, that's not good, Heidi. It's not good. Ooh! Cutscene? No, just pretty music. Oh my goodness, where am I? <gasps> I unlocked a new room. Well, give me this herb. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Um... I don't have room for it. I need to investigate this box that I have. What were you asking? Something about acting, which is something you know what else? That I love. I was thinking. Um, I really. Uh, we we got off Japan. Um, oh. just, so it's gonna were, it's like, gonna be a it's gonna be a roller coaster of new ideas. Yes. Yeah. Press the switch. Nope, the switch did not work. Press the switch. Sun and the moon. On the plate, it says sunshine will awaken me. Jewelry box. Okay. <laughs> It needs sunshine. Oh! It did open! There was a mask inside! Death mask! Can I wear this and not have zombies eat me? Because that would be cool. Oh! No eyes, nose, or mouth. Uh, this relates back to another puzzle in the graveyard, I know for a fact, because there's a see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil uh, puzzle. Oh. And he has no eyes and no mouth, and so I bet you he goes back on one of the statues in the graveyard. The real question is, do I need to take it back to the graveyard now, or do I need to pick up other statues? Chat, that's a good question for you. Should I oh. take this back to the graveyard, or keep looking for more statues? That's the question. Um, meanwhile, Yes, Japan was, I mean, you just, like, getting to travel to work is, in in any, I think, career is pretty exciting, and especially to get to do something like, I don't know, go be Jill Valentine. Um, it just yeah. makes it very, very fun. And so, what was your audition process like? Yeah. And then also, did you know you were auditioning for Jill Valentine? That's one, because I okay. hear that's oftentimes on the down low. <clears throat> and Two, if you did, were you like, I don't know, you know, because now that I know it was a big game and <laughs> people knew about it, was that daunting? So I did know that it was auditioning for Jill Valentine from the very first audition. It had some strange code names and some things here and there that they like switched around, but they were still mm-hmm. pretty straightforward. Um, and they gave us character art. And I was like, that looks like Jill Valentine. Um, uh, even even in like the new remake stuff, you're just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, uh-huh. So I knew going in that it was Joe Valentine, and I originally did a taped audition. So I taped it um, oh. at home, like a full theatrical, basically, tape um, of a couple of scenes and sent it into casting and uh, got a callback, and it came in for the callback, and 
met the director, Steve Knibli, who's the cinematics director and some of the producers. Um, and we all just kind of clicked pretty early on because I think we just had a shared vision for kind of like how Jill was going to kind of manifest in this iteration of, of her story. Um, mm -hmm. And and yeah, so I, I did a callback and then I came and did some uh, like a chemistry read. So I did like a mix and match and that's where I met some of the other actors that were playing some of the other characters and I got to read against them in a callback process. And mm -hmm. then from there, I, I got the call and I had booked the job, which is very exciting. Um, and video games like happen over such a long period of time too, that uh, from like when you book the job and then it's like another month or two months or three months before you go and like do the job and then we come back and we'd wait and then we'd go back when they'd written more because they were still changing things all the time. So that really happens in Game World a lot. They're like constantly iterating on the scripts um, yeah. and like changing what's happening. Um, so we experienced that a lot as well. So that was kind of my audition process, which is a little bit different. Wow. That is like utterly different. Compl I mean, utterly different from what I went through. That's amazing, the, the transformation. I mean, and, and that's probably because I was auditioning to do both of her, both her voice and her performance capture. So they're they're also looking for for movement, body style, um, you know, c combat ability, and and some of those things. So like they're just looking for more. Like they're looking. So they 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 take you through a, like an even more intense process because they're gonna suit you up and like do the whole thing. And so we um, had to show them more. You know. <laughs> So let me ask you this then, would, would they have booked you as a voice and booked somebody else for the motion capture? That does happen. Um, okay. It does happen. I've actually done some motion capture work where someone else had already been hired for the voice. Um, on okay. two different games where I've done performance capture and facial capture and someone else mm -hmm. had already been hired to do the voice. Um, okay. And actually in some ways that allows you to do other characters. So I played like a 12 year old boy and stuff like that, like mm -hmm. young people that you wouldn't normally okay. get to play um, if, it could, if it's going to be voiced over. So for this one, they actually were open to it. They were like, uh, we might hire a different voice and a different mocap artist if we don't get like exactly what we want. Um, but I kind of came in and, and I never heard anything about it ever again. They were just like, nope, she's going to do all of it. So I was like, awesome. Wow. Oh, that's incredible. And so do you do you have fight training then? Um, I had done some combat training. Um, mm -hmm. I had also done some like uh, some stage combat stuff in Shadow of War, which is the Lord of the Rings video game that I did before, which is like sword play stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And I've told this story before, like I would sit, um, not, not I would sit, at the callback process, I talked to both Jeff Shine, who plays Carlos in the game, and Neil Newbon, who plays Nemesis, which is the bad guy, and Nikolai, which is the other bad guy. Mm -hmm. And I remember like talking to them being like, all right guys, what do you think? Do you think it looks better if I hold the gun like this or like this? Because there's like you yeah. know, two different police stances and, and stuff like that. And they had a blast deciding like, mm, I think that looks you know slicker. And so we were like in the parking lot. I was like still deciding like how, you know, physically, is she going to show up for this moment? Um, and then I'd go in and like do it and work with the director. So really, I was just surrounded by people that really know what they're doing, which helps. <laughs> oh, that was smart. Get their advice. Mm -hmm. Then that was for the callback, you say? Yes. And both of them have done like extensive stunt training and stuff like that. So I was, um, I was in good shape. I was well taken care of. Um, so that was pretty pretty dandy and delightful um we've had uh, a donation with some questions and i'm gonna pull them up because they're here uh okay. rebecca said question for heidi have you ever played mm -hmm. the game and what are both of your favorite lines from this game also i finally shipped a little jilly duck yesterday nicole hope it doesn't take long oh thank you rebecca so <laughs> rebecca wants to know if you have some favorite lines from the game now i know it's been like a bazillion years since you did it but you did get to play through it with um crimson right Yes, and I have never played it myself, and in fact, I have never played a video game. <laughs> Ever. Welcome to Twitch! Ever. It's your debut! Yeah, it's a, and so when you're doing, saying, Heidi, what should I do? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like, no idea. I'm, go ahead, you know, go ahead. You, you're, you're doing just great over there. And so what is my favorite line? Um, um, I think... Uh, um, Enrique, when I'm like uh, calling for him on and and my the it's not working and I'm like and I'm shouting for him on the walkie-talkie and I'm shouting. I think it's Enrique. Yeah. 
I'm okay. You know, I'm really just trying to uh, like get a hold of him. So yeah, yeah. Radios, really... radios are kind of a theme for Jill. Uh, it also shows up in Resident I'm... Evil Three. She's got a, really? a a radio and she's talking to her partner, not partner, but Carlos is the person that she's talking to. And uh, and and so I also had several like Carlos, you know, like can can you hear me? Like that that yeah. sort of thing. Like the radio is always not working. Oh, is that it? That's an ongoing. Jill thing. I, I I mean, apparently, because she seems to have a radio in uh, every game that I've played with her so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we also had FoxBob22 donate and said, Hi, Jill. So excited to see you both here. It's crazy. I've been busy the last two streams, and now I can give tips so I stop yelling at my computer screen. You want to <laughs> use the shotgun at point-blank range tilted up to pop the head off. No, off no crim's heads then. Off the okay. crimson heads, I need to pop, ooh, that's probably a good idea. I have no shotgun ammo, so I appreciate that advice and I'm still going to die and I can't wait. All right, um, we're just in here now. Who even knows? There's a large scratch in this wall. It doesn't look like the work of rotting freaks. Okay. Um, map, ooh, okay. Sure, haven't been through this door. Let's go through this door, Heidi. Who okay. even knows what's Who on knows the other what's thing? There. See the candlelight? It's the worst angle from under under the table. That's no, it's so scary. Ew. First aid, I can't carry any more items. I need a box. Can I rest? Oh my god. Is there someone under the bed? No, I'm not okay. Oh! There's a... They left in a hurry. Well, there's an ink ribbon save in here. It would be awesome if there was a typewriter. Is there a typewriter? Heidi, we need bigger pockets. This is ridiculous. Why, why can't they make jeans with bigger pockets? <laughs> That's what I need. More pockets. Hmm. I can't afford to get rid of anything yet. All right, well, this is a helpful room that we're gonna come back to. Okay. Oh. <gasps> I can't carry anymore, but there's herbs in here too. There's so much exciting um. stuff. T two herbs, possibly. It's so dark. Three herbs? Same, is that the same herbs? How many herbs are behind this bed? All right, well, truly a truly a bummer. Hopefully I can come back to this room when I have pocket space. <sighs> More hip pouches, please. All right, so you have never played video games, clearly. No. Did you do <laughs> any other film and TV stuff after this game or did you quit acting pretty soon after this game? Um, I did pretty much right after. Um, there was one other game I did for Capcom, um, Capcom uh, Killer 7. No way, I did not know this. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and yeah. was that also like a booth experience? Yes, and I, and that was actually sort of a little add-on to uh, when I came in and uh, finished. Cutscene! I did it! Stuff. I made it to a cutscene! You made a what? Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, it's you talking to Barry. This. Yeah, and I can't hear it. I That's can't believe you can't hear it. Why can't you hear it? I don't know. I turned up my volume, too. But you can hear... Do you hear the bubbling or the music at all? No. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We're gonna, for Heidi's sake, disconnect okay. and reconnect really fast. Let's just see if we can do it, because it should work. So I'm gonna turn you off, and I'm gonna end the call, and then just join you back in, okay? Okay. Why not? Right, uh, where are you? To your right. There it is. All right, so I'm gonna end the call. Disconnect. Join back. Mute me for a second here, because of the workers outside. Um, all right, I'm sharing this with you now. You should be able to hear it go live. 
Alright, click on the live stream and let me know if you hear anything. Heidi, if you muted yourself, I definitely can't hear you now. Hello. There you are. Hello. Hi. Um, are you so... able to hear it now? No. Well, that's just annoying. I know, but that's okay. Okay. That's okay. Well, all right. Well, I will just tell you that you sound great, and I love hearing okay. you talking to me here and talking to me in the game. <laughs> Researchers will. A letter is slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is legible. Alma, I've tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected, and there's no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. Oh. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. Poor Martin. Not not a good day for you Martin. Make of it? No. Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. We have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part, and so. Well, I gotta say, Nicole, you're really um, navigating all of this very well. The game, the chat, trying. the conversation. Trying. You're gonna get a few things going you on know, over here, my it's friend. It's not perfect. After this, Are will I absolutely go like faceplant on my bed and be like, that went fine? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. Also, Heidi, yeah, I yeah. promised that I would introduce you to my cat. Um, and I have a kitten cam. Do you see the screen? Cam. Yes. Oh, no. Do you see the kitten cam? Yeah. That is my cat. Her name is Aslan. That is her currently sleeping on this shelf. Hey, okay. Hey, That's Azzy. So cute. You look like a picture. Uh -huh. Can you wake up just to say hi? Here oh. So that's Aslan. Now she's going to stretch and we're not going to be able to see her. <laughs> hi, Bean. Okay. Um, that's Aslan, and she wanted to say hello, and anyone that comes on stream has to meet her in some capacity, so you have now met Aslan on the kitten cam. We're not going to leave the kitten cam up, but sometimes when it gets too stressful and I die too much, I turn the kitten cam on just to be like, that's all right, there's a cat. Yeah, yeah, there's a cat. <laughs> oh, how have, cute is this? Do you have any animals, Heidi? No, no, my husband is allergic to cats. Okay, that makes sense. And yeah, and we when uh, when the boys were younger, we had a, a couple hamsters, and then at one point we had a guinea pig. No way! Did this guinea pig have a good name? Because I always like to ask names of like small rodent creatures. Oh, it it, it turned out to be a big rodent creature, <laughs> and I mean, when my husband called and said, "Can we bring home a guinea pig?" I was thinking, like a little know, like, like a guinea pig, yeah. Yeah. No, it was like this. It was it was it was huge. a it was, giant I, guinea pig. It, it did not. It would did not it was go a, well. It was a very overfed guinea pig. Well, and then you know it, the guinea pig did not survive very long. Oh no! It was a very <laughs> overfed guinea pig. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it didn't go. It, the hamster thing didn't go well. Um, yeah. Oh no. Um, yes, I miss cats because I grew up with cats. Oh, did and you? Gone. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I I miss the I miss compromises animals. that you make for your spouses. Yeah, yeah. I'd much rather have my husband. So it yeah. it's all worked out because he he just it really doesn't want a pet. Right. So ah, that makes sense. I mean, it's fine. That makes sense. It's fine. That makes sense. Yeah. So tell me, how old are your your it's both boys, right? Your kids now. So I have a stepson who's twenty one. Okay. And my son is uh, seventeen. Oh. Wonderful. Yeah. That's so so yeah. cool. Now, do they do they play any games at this point, or no? They still don't really play much games. Many. Ugh. So much my games? my stepson said he started playing Assassin's Creed. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And so, you know, I mean, this is I think this is new-ish for him because when he was younger, like when he was in high school, he really wasn't playing. And I think it was kind of unusual. Um, and then my son was raised in an era where kids were really playing games. And he he just never played. We just never got him a game. And then one time he was at a friend's house. And the friend pulled out their Lego Batman. And that that's when it began for him. But he really didn't do it much. And then he pretty much quit playing games last year. Um, 
and he was just playing NBA 2K, like I told you, and he just found that he was just getting so frustrated, he just had to stop. And he likes to play basketball himself, and Aww. so you know, the the where he was putting his time and energy, he decided to focus more on homework and basketball as opposed to um, playing the video games. So he kind of let that fall away. That makes so. sense. Yeah, because um, if it's frustrating you instead of bringing you joy, well, you yeah, know, then you... yeah, only play if it's fun for sure. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. speaking of only playing if it's fun, I have to go find the item box, which I think is just down the okay. stairs. But there's like a really terrifying creature, also in this hallway, with that might kill me immediately, which would be a very big bummer. But it just might happen. Um, so we're gonna try to make it down to this item box and then come back up. So we have to pass this creature twice. So this might be okay. the end of Jill again. Oh no, oh no, okay, so I'll keep my- I won't talk. Just keep your- keep your eyes peeled. Okay. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Oh, I don't like it already. Excuse me, 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 I am stuck. I went the wrong way, that really, really stinks, cause I need to go downstairs, I'm just gonna go through this door instead. Um, I definitely needed to go the other direction, but he chased me down the hall, and that's what happens. Um, this is where people in chat start being like, where's Susie? She needs to help you. Oh, okay, because she would help you get navigate in and Just, out. Just, like, be better at okay. this in general. Here's the other thing, Heidi. I didn't realize that I started playing this game on what I thought was normal difficulty, but apparently uh -huh. that's code name for hard. So it's hard oh. difficulty because there's also, like, an easy and a very easy. And I was like, oh, well, uh -huh. I'll just play on normal. <laughs> no. Oh. No, should have played on easy. <laughs> should have played on easy. But, you okay. know, there's no going back. All right, kitten cam's going off, but I love you, Aslan. Thanks, bye. Um, kitten cam, kitty was interested. Yeah, she gets she gets invested, you know. Yeah, she was totally like, "Whoa, what's going on over like, there?" And then she's been harmed. I was like, <laughs> "It's me dying, mostly. That's that's yeah. kind of what's happening." Uh, all right. So you are still in the Los Angeles area. Yeah. Have you, from from when you were an actress, have you lived other places or mostly in L.A.? Yeah, we stayed in L.A. Oh, and Excuse me. we raised our, our boys. You, yeah. So you raised you raised everyone in, in Los Angeles. So you are LA. Yeah, we Wow, moved. this guy's going to follow me all the way. Amazing. Wow. He followed me all the way down the stairs, Heidi. Oh. Super, oh. super uncool that, right now. Is that because you made a wrong move that you got chased down the stairs, or does that just always happen? No, it's just I didn't burn him alive earlier, apparently. And that's what you're supposed to do! Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, oh, oh, burn okay. him alive. I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna put this away, because I need way more room than I currently have. I have two bullets. Very exciting. Acid shells. I'm gonna take this out. Ooh, can I equip this, actually? Survival knife? I feel like I can. I'm good at that. Do I need it? No, that's the thing that I just stab people with. Sorry, this is super important information. If I was a professional, I would zip through it, but I have to think about it. Um, okay. Sam, thank you for resubbing! Okay, sorry, I was reading reading chat, catching up. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna make space. I'm putting it away. Putting it away. Putting it away. I need that other key back though. There we go. Okay, feel good about that. Now we're gonna save. Yes, I would love to save my progress. Oh my gosh, I made it past that section. It's a blessing. Yay. So this was actually, um, you know, where we live was actually one of the reasons, one of the reasons why I moved on from acting is because back in the day, in my day, 
you had to go to every single audition. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And I mean, the way that you described sending in a video of yourself. Didn't, it wasn't a thing then. No. And in fact, um, even people recording from home for voiceover auditions was very unusual. Right. And I actually brought it up to uh, my agent and I said, what if I did some voiceover, you know, auditions from my house? And she was, you know, like, Maybe, yeah, we'll see about that. And so, but I live in Hermosa Beach, which is south of the airport. And right. so for me to get to LA or to get to Burbank was a lot of time both in both directions. And so that really became uh, difficult to to fit that in with family life because I would have to leave, you know, one audition would take five hours because of all the driving and everything. Wow, yeah. So yeah, he was makes... like, you know, you really you want to drive, spend half the day going to an audition. Right. And you're like, so okay. So after it, acting, I mean, what did what mm -hmm. did your life more transition into? Did you jump immediately into writing, or did you have like a transitionary, you know, period? Yeah, I was pretty much uh, started writing um, right about that time. And so in many ways, you know, when you say, oh, so you don't act anymore. And I go, oh yeah, I guess I don't. But I feel like I do because right. I write. Yeah. And that's a very, you know, creative thing. And you use a lot of acting skills very in creative. writing. Yeah. And, you know, and then I work on, um, you know, we do dramatic presentations of the work that I've done. And so it feels like I'm still very involved artistically. And yeah. so my, you know, like that muscle isn't gone anymore at, at all. I don't think it's just being used in a different way. So yeah. I think once yeah. you're, once, once an artist, always an artist. I think so. I think so. And you just find different ways to use it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Everyone's always gonna, you know, kind of find their own way to, sort of express, you know, themselves. Um, we got Sunny Bauer who donated. Sunny Bauer in the chat. Sunny's amazing and said Heidi and um, Sunny said, hey Nicole, Heidi, it's great to see you in the mansion again. We had a blast streaming this last year with Crimson Elder Head, didn't we? Now look at you yeah. meeting the other Jill. You both are our heroes. Thank you for doing this. It's a special night. Sunny, uh, so much love to you. Party. Thank He's the you. one that found me on IMDb. <laughs> Thank you for finding Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This this event would not be happening today if we, it weren't for Artie Sunny Bauer. So true. This is so true. absolutely so. true. 100%. Um, and then we also got a Canadian B-Loot donated said, Hey, Nicole and Heidi, I just got done eating a delicious sandwich from Subway and Kiwi laid on the kitchen <laughs> table to eat the bread. Combs, haha. <laughs> I think Kiwi is your kitten, correct? Yes. Um, I appreciate any and all cat updates. Thank you. All right. Um, I can do this, Heidi. I believe in miracles. <laughs> I believe in miracles. So did you do musical theater as well? I did grow up doing musical theater. You did? I did, yeah. So you were a child actress? I, I started doing, well, I, I just was doing musical theater, like community theater, that sort of stuff. I did, you know, okay. probably over 20 musicals growing up, just like. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, as a, is there something on this? What is this? Uh, I was hoping to get back to the bugs. Yeah, so I, I grew up doing musicals and, and was pretty excited about it. And um, that sort of led into my passion for acting. Um, and from there, I kind of transitioned into to film and TV. And then I moved to LA and the rest is history. <laughs> so then you grew up where? I grew up in Texas. In Texas? I did. And so they had big community theater... They, I mean, you know, will you take the lure of a bee? Yes, I'm, I'm taking bees. A collection of insect specimens. There's a switch underneath. Press it? No. I'm not gonna press that switch. It's gonna kill me, Heidi. Can I, can I use one of these other bees and like put it up? This is the questions. These are the questions. Um, yeah, so I, I, I you know, kind of just was interested in performance from a, oh, I didn't mean to put that there, did I? Yeah. 
Lord of a bee. I'm confused. They're both the same. So it's a lure of a bee. I got it. They're meant to replace each other. I just didn't pay attention to which one came from where. So this is an actual bee specimen. And this is a lure of a bee. We're gonna take the actual bee specimen and then put the lure of the bee over here, maybe? Don't know. No, don't press the switch. <laughs> um... Chady Brechtel, thank you for gifting us up. Gonna, um, I, I've got this. I've got this, Heidi. We are Jill Valentines. We can we figure are, this out. We are. We can do this. Lord of the Bee, use it. So, as I mentioned, our house is, we've got all this construction going on, so our blinds were taken down, so I've got this really. <laughs> It's a, this it's a dynamic, lighting it's a dynamic today. lighting experience. That's what's yeah. happening. It's just changing wow. throughout time. You look fantastic, so. Well, thank you. Um, but I'm noticing how, like, like uh, uniform your lighting is, and I'm, like, in <laughs> with the sun To be going fair, down. I have, like, a strip, and I've, I've been doing this maybe a little bit more consistently at this point. So yeah. I got, like, a light strip and stuff like that. Nice light strip, okay. And so you you were in Texas then, and you started yes, doing so community theater. I was in Texas, and then I started doing community theater, and then I'm just going to pause because I can't think at the same time and talk. It's just impossible. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I started doing community theater, and then from there I started doing a little bit of film and TV stuff out in Texas because there's a little bit oh. of an industry there. Um, yeah. And then I moved to Los Angeles and mm -hmm. I did a couple feature films and then, um, I, you know, booked my first video game and kind of fell into voiceover and started to learn more about what that was like and just kind of added that to my um, repertoire of things that I love. Um, and now I'm here, you know, it was kind of just like an evolution of pursuing what you love and not taking no as an answer and continuing to <laughs> keep keep at it. That's great. Great. So, what were the the early plays that you did? Oh my gosh, kid? I've done, <clears throat> I've done musicals from Les Mis to Peter Pan, Wizard of Oz, like a bunch of the classic like musicals that you'll see at community theater sort of stuff. Um, uh, ooh, I've done Music Man, Kiss Me Kate, just a bunch of, a, a bu yes, many, many, many musicals. <laughs> Holy mackerel! That's um, amazing. It's, it's very fun. I haven't done a musical in, in a long time now. Um, and I only did like maybe one or two like professional, more professional productions. Um, mm -hmm. And I did Sound of Music. I played Brigitte. That was very fun. Uh, oh. And then I, yeah. And then I kind of switched to film and TV. And that's sort of where I've been, you know, playing around until video games hit. And then I was like, wow, this is so much fun. Like being on a mocap stage. I remember the first time I got on a mocap stage, I was like, I would really like to be back on a mocap stage soon. Um, and sure enough, it happened. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of that. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, chat, do you guys have some questions for Heidi? since we have her here, and I'm going to continue to stumble through this game, regardless of how much you help me, because that's just <laughs> the joy of what we're doing. I also, while they think of good questions, I would like to point out that Heidi, I, I went and got my chamomile tea as well, yeah. to drink yeah. chamomile, because oh, Heidi mentioned that she's drinking chamomile, and I wanted to show you, this is my homemade loose leaf chamomile. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this on camera. So do you see how it's wow. just Yeah. Yeah, so it's just like little chamomile blossoms. That's what they look like when they're all dried out. Okay. Um and then I added lavender. And then basically the chamomile blossoms all chopped up. Kind of looks more like that, basically. In a tea bag is just what okay. the what's in normal chamomile tea key ba tea bags and I I just grew those chamomiles out in the garden. That is terrific. I, I feel so um, naive that I didn't know you could just make your own tea like that, grow your own chamomile. Well, now you've got Power. now you've got a new adventure since you're clearly not busy at all. That's a joke. She yeah. was so busy. Mm -hmm. uh, nailing down a date was 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 a thing. She's been busy speaking and doing all sorts of 
sorts of amazing things. <laughs> um, someone asked, question for Heidi, would you ever like to cosplay as Jill? <laughs> you know, she kind of- Oh, that's a good idea, isn't it? I've done a little bit of cosplay as, cosplaying as Jill. I do have something to show you that I think you'd appreciate. Let me grab it. Hold okay. on. Okay. So if you cosplay, then do you need to go to um, an event to do that? That's a question. Or is it something that you could just do online with other people? How, how do people cosplay? That's a question that I have. Because that... I thought I'd be able um, to grab it like super quickly, and instead I think I put it on the top of my shelf so it's not as accessible as I originally anticipated. Aw, where did I put it? Oh, okay. So yeah, and, I've, and then my other question for the person who asked the question about cosplay is, where do you get these Jill Valentine cosplay costumes? Or do you just make them yourself? I had someone help me make one for Resident Evil Remake. I think there's a couple places you can like buy one, but um, mm -hmm. you can, you know, you basically like can work with someone that's like a cosplay artist who helps like put together the whole sort of like outfit and people are like you can do a photo shoot and just put it on the internet it doesn't have to be you know any sort of event it can just be you know for fun <laughs> oh okay all right so you don't have to go to comic-con somewhere someone just... said cosplay is like halloween but with less candy <laughs> you just okay. dress up for fun oh okay just for fun <laughs> okay cool all right, Falcon asked, it would be super cool if Heidi could say Jill's first line. There's only three okay. stars members left now. Captain Wesker, um, Barry, and myself. I don't know where Chris is. That's a long line. A, yeah, 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 they have to feed it to me. Um, there's only three stars members now. Captain Wesker, um, Barry, myself, and myself. And, oh, Cap, okay, all right, hold on. There's only three stars members left now. Uh-huh. Captain Wesker, Barry, and Captain myself. Barry and myself. There's only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. I don't know. We where don't Chris know. Is. We don't know where Chris. We don't know where Chris is. Chris. 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 <laughs> That's another one. Chris. Yes. Where did Chris go? Um. <clears throat> yeah. There's only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. <laughs> yes! No. Oh, Chad is so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're very, very excited. Yes. Yay. Um, Speaking of chat, what do you guys, where should I go next? I'm gonna let you guide me a little bit because my ability to decide what to do and continue a conversation and see what you guys are saying. Where, where, where should I? Nicole Tompkins, as Jill Valentine, with Jill Valentine, playing Jill Valentine, um, go next in this game. I have two bugs in my purse, but they don't do anything. Um, and <laughs> apparently I missed something back in the save room. You need to go outside to the graveyard. Solve this puzzle, but you need one more item in this room. Oh, it's in the room? That's good. All right, I'm gonna do that. If there's another item in this room, Heidi, then, oh, right there, okay. right there, there's another, right, nope, 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 yep, I know, right there, give me a thing, yeah, will you take the fish hook? Yes, I will. Various types of fish hooks, all right. Ooh, do I put the, mm, sort of fishing lures, can I put the, can I combine the bug and put it in the tank? Is that weird? What if I combine this? Combine... Oh, no, no! Do that with the lure! Duh! What am I doing? Keep that bug. Come back over here. Put the lure and the fish hook together, right? Doesn't that sound like what we should do? The answer is yes. Yes. Nothing happens. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I know it has something. Give me the bug back. Give me the bug. Will you take the lure? Yes, I will take it. Amazing. I know, I know, I know, I know. Alright, here. We're gonna combine this 
with this. I bet when you did this with um, Crimson Elder Head, they just like blasted through this like nothing happened. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They just finished the whole yeah. game in like two hours. Well, but you have to remember, we had, like, we were a crowd. I was doing what I'm doing now, right. which is watching. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully, right. might I add. And then, um, I think, I think it already was playing, and then other people were chatting. You know, so you're kind of doing everything over there, Nicole. So It's a, it's a one-woman show today. Yeah, yeah. They, they had, like, a bunch of people um, doing things over there. The water tank smells like something. Perhaps someone used a wraith. Can I catch a creature in the water tank? Should I just put it here? There's a switch underneath. No, don't press it. Just, just casually solving a puzzle with bugs. It's fine. <laughs> Does that work? There's a missing bug though. Like that's the problem, Heidi. I'm supposed to catch a bug. Yeah. Yeah. gonna take it. No. There's a missing bug. Alright, I'm gonna just make be really obvious. I'm just gonna put the lure away and then and then put the bug away. That's what I'm gonna do. No, just put the put the bug away. Put the bug away. Maybe it's simple. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Mm -hmm. I was overthinking it. I just had to put it away. Oh my gosh! Is that thing gonna kill me? Ew! Ew! <laughs> Not good. Not good. Not good. Not it good. It was huge! Not good. Not good. Give me the thing. Will you take the wind crest? Yes, if this bug doesn't kill me in the meantime. Ah, okay, I'm leaving. Ah. Uh, out into the hallway with the thing that loves to kill me. Alright, where am I? Here. Alright, chat, now what? Back down, back down? <laughs> They're like, it's a bee! <laughs> now, what, what happens with the bee? Oh my gosh. Uh, apparently you just could die if you stay in there. The bee will kill you? Apparently. Someone said go back into the bedroom. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so that was a I, I have to say, I don't remember death by a bee. So maybe not, but we could go test the theory, but then we would just be going in circles. Ooh, is that a green box? Give me the green box. Yes, it is. I will take that first aid box. Heck yeah. All right. Anything else in here, guys? I don't think so. All right, I think that's all we needed. First aid! Alright, I got it. Yep, good, 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 good with that. So, should we go back to... What I should do is just get Sunny Bauer on here, telling me where I should go next. Yes, yes, where is he? He's in chat. Sunny, where do I go next? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Let's take a look at this. Insert first aid kit case. Can you like open it? Ha ha! Oh yes. First aid spray! Da -da 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 -da. That's gonna yeah. be wonderful later. Right now I feel fine. Later, not so fine. I only have one mask. Guys, one mask. There's chat is just full of bee puns. Thank you so much. All right, where have I not been? I'm guessing back downstairs is where I'm headed soon. But I also want to make sure that I ask you a couple more questions while I have you because um oh. it's not every day that you get to have an no. OG Jill Valentine just here no. hanging yeah. out. Have yeah. you been to a con before, Heidi? Uh, we went to a Comic Con uh, once in uh, Palm Springs, Palm Soul Desert. Springs. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Did and, you enjoy yeah. it? Did you find it overwhelming? What did you think? 
Um, it was it was really interesting for me, and I wanted to stay and kind of check it out. But I think the the people I were I was with really wanted to go, so um, so we didn't end up staying very long. But I'm I'm glad we went. I mean, and I just went as a person. I never went as uh, somebody who was Jill Valentine or anything like that. Like I a just, guest yet. Yeah. I bet you could. I bet people would be excited to meet you eventually if you wanted to go to some cons. So have you done that? Have you gone well, to events? So this crazy world pandemic sort of got in the way of my con schedule. Um, yeah. Because the global pandemic hit Earth and everything yeah. got canceled. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I've been to a couple cons, but not as a guest, mostly... Um, just like as a friend or, or, you know, with, with, with friends. Um, but I, I've gone to like one event so far. Um, and hopefully when the world opens back up, I've said this before, I'll, I'll go to a few more and just get to say hello in person to some of the many amazing people that I've met kind of digitally. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's the hope. But would you ever go as I'm going as Jill Valentine and I'm going to, you know, sit at a table and... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I can, you know, meet people and, and like, you know, answer questions or, or hang out or, okay. or something okay, like Okay, so that. that's what you mean. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's a whole interesting thing to me as well because, of course, none of that was happening 20 it's new. years ago. It's newer, yeah, it really is. Yeah, I have a friend who said that you could, I mean, before the pandemic, he said, I could I could go to a Comic-Con um, pretty much every weekend, somewhere in the world. Wow, yeah. But he's voiced, you know, like a bunch of, like 30 characters or something in his life. And That's so, crazy, so I mean, many. So, did, have you found that experience where you could just keep on going to these kind of I mean events? I I haven't yet because like my game came out in March and that's literally when the pandemic oh, so hit like out. it just it just came out in March so there's been no oh, like goodness. you know reason to go I mean I'd known yeah. for two years that I was gonna play Jill but I wasn't allowed to announce my involvement until the game the day the game came out not even when it like first announced or when the trailer launched and you could hear my stuff like not until the day it came out and then the day it came out what i was able to what? announce yeah so your agents couldn't talk about it nothing mm -mm, mm -mm. they're super super intense on their non-disclosure agreements in video games these days because they just suffer from so many leaks that they really just they keep it super locked down so out of respect you know okay okay so then in the meanwhile you say i'm going to japan and i working on this video game which i cannot disclose not disclose triple a video game <laughs> is that what you say i mean if someone like specifically asks maybe it depends on the person because again you really don't it's like you want to always just be so careful and delicate about that yeah. sort of stuff because there's oh, so many course. people that are pouring so much time and money into these games so we never want to be the reason that something gets leaked <laughs> yeah yeah wow but that's a really interesting thing because just as a you know for casual purposes you know talking to friends and family and stuff i'm you know i'm doing something i can't tell you what i'm doing yeah 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 definitely i mean for for friends i mean the kind of joke is like friend da i'm working on a game you know like yeah. i'm i'm going to do this thing like if your close family is probably gonna know okay vaguely what you're working on um yeah <laughs> i've had producers though in the past be like your dog doesn't know your your yeah. mom doesn't know no one what? knows and i was like you're right no one knows um Whoa. so at that point you're just like i'm working on a video game whoa okay so what other game was like that um, or what other producers were like that I if mean, you can say shadow of war was the other okay. game that i have that's out that was like that mm -hmm. and then okay. heidi i have three other games at least in varying stages of production that I have worked on in some capacity, not all as like, you know, the, the leading character, um, but I have a few others um, that I've been working on and am working on that, you know, are, are you know, just projects that someday we'll, we'll see the light of day. <laughs> and so, so for right now, that's one of those things where you yep. can't say what they are. So, so all of them are like this now. Yeah. 
Oh, if yeah. you're working in a game, you have to just, you can't say anything. Mm -mm. Almost never. That's fascinating. Almost never, yeah. Um, wow. To the point that sometimes you can work on games and not know what game you're working on. Like, sometimes they will literally hide the project that you're working on from you. And then really? you will either figure it out because you know enough about video games and you literally have a script, or yeah. you're just gonna be like, oh, I know that it's this genre, it's this thing, and you're gonna follow the director and you just, you don't know till it comes out. I've talked to many voice actors. I haven't had that personally, but I've talked to voice actors that didn't know what game they were working on until it came out. Really? Yep. Oh, Which is wow. crazy. That's really interesting to me. I mean, that's a total, a total change. Yeah. Or maybe I just didn't do enough of them to, to know that this this is what's happening. Well, and I mean, you know, even even what you said, right? Like the the like caring about who's behind the voices too. Different game companies mm -hmm. use their actors differently. You have game companies like, you know, even Naughty Dog where like there's a lot more emphasis placed on like, you know, who voiced the characters or whatever else. And then you have other companies where like it's about the franchise, so the actors kind of play this like super important role and then sometimes get used in marketing and sometimes don't because sometimes mm -hmm. they're not going to use the actor for marketing purposes because the you know the role of the series the franchise is what they're you know focused on and they don't want to emphasize like a particular performer or something so then um, you'll just find that the fans will come and find you like in this moment right you know like the fans yeah. will come and find you and be like you played Jill Valentine, and we, yeah. you know, love that. Um, and so that's, I don't know, it's awesome. It's its cool. It's all, yeah. all just kind of like different flavors. Um, I got totally yeah. distracted. Um, I saw one comment in chat that I felt was like really accurate. They said 2% uh, gameplay moving forward, 98% conversation, and I'm living for it. And that's, that's exactly <laughs> it. I, uh, okay. I'm so glad you know, you guys figured it out. You figured it yeah. out. I'm gonna solve maybe two puzzles, make it through three three new rooms, uh, yeah. and Heidi and I are gonna have a two hour conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but someone said something about taking music to the music room, and I have no idea where the music room is. So I appreciate you, but where? Where is the music room? Heidi, I know you know exactly where the music room is. I know is. where the music room is, yeah. Just guide me there with all of your, all of your... Sonny can help! Tell me, Sonny, bring me your wisdom! Sonny's gonna help. This room is blinking. Does that mean that I'm in it? Or does it mean that there's something in this room that I haven't messed with yet? First floor. In the hall with the first zombie. Oh yeah! I know where that is. Back, 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 back. Did I just unequip my gun? Equip, <laughs> yeah, I did. Nailed it, guys. Um, all right, so we are gonna go out and downstairs. Ooh. We're gonna go out and try to get back to the... Ooh, how do I get there good? Can I go downstairs first? Sunny, I do have the lighter, and I need to go... I need to go downstairs. I'm gonna try just going down... I think just down the stairs is just the save room, though, right? I really don't like this monster dude. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna do our best. We're gonna try. Oh, I went through the wrong door, nailing it. Ooh, so excited. Did I go through the wrong door again? I think I did. Ah! Ow. Ow. Oh, no. I'm just gonna go in here. Did I light the candles and the piece of music on the second floor here? I have the piece of music and I did light the candle. I have the I have I have the piece of music. 
I'm trying to get downstairs. I went the wrong way. That guy scares me a lot. I don't want to face him. I don't want to look at him. Yeah. I don't want to be friends with him. We don't want to know each other. We don't yeah. even want to pass in the hall, ever. Someone said, Heidi, your performance as Jill is one of the reasons I decided to pursue voice acting. You are such an inspiration to me, so thank you for that. Aww. That really makes me feel good. Thank you so much for that compliment. Um, I loved it. I love the job. And I and um, as we said, you know, it's really fun for me to hear many years later the performance and go, oh, I like it. I do. And I like the whole game and the fact that um, um, it inspired you makes me feel really good. Thank you. Thank you. I get it. You know, I really when you spend a lot of time with somebody's voice, it's there's a real connection. Uh, to them, I have I have feelings, um, you know, where other people's voices really inspire me and move me, and so I completely understand what you mean. So, many, so cool. So many puzzle pieces. So go through the other door. Okay, Sunny, I don't have my lighter with me though. I need to probably go back and get my lighter. But I gotta go talk to this crimson head thing again. Ugh, it's the worst! <laughs> you have to go through the crimson head before you can I get the lighter. I don't want to talk to it ever again. I could try shooting at it. <laughs> Ow! Excuse me! Excuse me. Can I go through here? No, no doorknob. Duh, okay. You told me to go through this, Sunny. I'm going through this. <laughs> Hi. Love you. Zombies are the best. We're just gonna... Oh my gosh! Wow. Really? Oh! He turned into a crimson! Oh my gosh! No! It's chaos! They're everywhere! Why? Oh no! No, like I'm not kidding. They're oh, everywhere. That's scary. It's I'm the sorry, worst. That's scary. What have I done? <laughs> I have made a terrible mistake. Oh, but I made it back to the main hall. That's nice. That's, that's satisfying, good. right, guys? That means I can go downstairs to the music room, right? Right? Uh, really, really could have, really could have gotten better. Really could have gotten better. But you're still alive, I, and you're still moving I, forward. I so am alive I'm alive and kicking. Yeah. So I don't understand what's wrong with what you did. I did destroy my chat's ears by screaming into okay. the microphone. <laughs> um, just if we're gonna like write out a list of grievances. That's okay. possibly one. I'm gonna save. Because I like to die. Okay. I read my donations. What do you mean? You said use the... You said use the shotgun and burn them. I don't have shotgun ammo. Like, I appreciate, I appreciate you. And I need <laughs> shotgun ammo. <laughs> so if you want to find me some shotgun ammo, then we can talk about it. Okay, can we talk about the, okay, again, the fireplace. Isn't it just a light? The lightning, I mean, come on. Right? I love that. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to what you're doing. I'm just yeah, looking that's fine. at the art just how design. It is. So great. You know, it'd be awesome if that zombie wasn't there. Am I? Where am I going that I haven't been? Down exactly where that zombie is. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Hi, buddy. Uh, I'd love to be able to see you. Ah! I found you. There you are. Come here, come here, come here, boo. Let's go. Oh. Ooh. Oh. All right. Oh, oh, oh. She did it. She, oh, oh. 
Oh, she did it. She, she, it happened. It's locked from the other side. Amazing. How about this door down here? Where this zombie is. You use the mansion key. Yes! I'm really hoping that this is a music room with music in it. It's got a painting. Yes. It's got oh, a- Ah, oh, I see a piano! I don't have my music sheet, my sheet music with me, guys. I have failed us. Miserably. Um, not miserably. Just have to get back to the save room. There's the typewriter box. So we're gonna go through the hallway. How do I get there? Good lord. <laughs> I don't have it in my inventory, guys, because I'm nailing this. <laughs> Sunny says I also need another piece of music, though, so I only have one piece of music anyway. Misled! The struggle! Alright. Who said what? I'm coming. Thank you, Dis Baby Don't Cry, for gifting two subs. Okay, so that's really interesting to hear how, um, the, how things have changed. In the, the world of auditions and voiceovers. Yeah, for sure, right? It's like yeah. a, an expensive looking grand piano. I love that they define it as expensive. I don't know, what, oh, what's in here? Something worth pushing. Eh? What do we got? Musical score? Yes, I will. Except I need the missing page. But she's got a missing page. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I need to go back and get my missing page, but at least I have a mission. I now know exactly. Um, examine. Check. Moonlight Sonata. Amazing. Open it up. Oh, it looks good. Is missing. Yes. All right. So Heidi, we at least have a mission. Yeah. Our mission for the rest of this stream is just gotten very yeah. simple. Our mission yeah. is to get yeah. to the box where I left the sheet music. Yes. Put it back into this folder and come yeah. right back to this piano without yeah. dying or dying minimally. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. That, All right. that is the you. rest of the mission, and I feel... I have no controls over here, so I'm just, I'm here for support. I really appreciate the support. I don't think I could ask for better <laughs> support, support, honestly. You. Like, you this is, it. this is, this is the support that everyone should have when yeah. they're playing through this yeah. for the first time. Hi, buddy. Yeah. I'm gonna waste my last bullet. No! Oh my gosh! Or I'm just gonna walk into your arms! Oh. You are so annoying. Freaking zombies. Okay. So hey, look, right. she's not freaking out at all. She, you know, Jill's just getting through this. She's, she's chilling about it. I just can't yeah. believe that I just did that because now I don't have full health. <laughs> So I just walked right into the zombie after <laughs> saying our goal is not to die. Oh, well. <sighs> but we're still not dead. You, you, so I, I am still alive. Right, right? We are We are alive. I'm just slowly, uh, Sunny Bauer is just leaving me little breadcrumbs. He's like, go upstairs. <laughs> the main hall. Just follow his directions. I'm following the sound of his voice. Tell me what to do. All right, Sonny, I'm upstairs. I, I'm probably trying to get back to my box. I just need a good way to do that. That involves less crimson elders, please. Uh, will I survive? Will I survive? Will I survive? We last survive. Uh, Foxbox donated and said, I had to run out of the room to check something for a minute and I missed you checking my bad. We need to get rid of those crimson heads. We need the grenade launcher to kill those things. Barry will also give you ammo for it. It's like Claire's. I would love a grenade launcher. I think the grenade launcher sounds great. I did not get the grenade launcher. Everyone's like, get the grenade launcher. Go to the second floor dining room. I'm on it. I'm on it, Sunny. Watch me not die by Alfred. I think that's what we named him. I can't remember. 
Alfred. <laughs> there's a, there's a, that's not, that's, nope, 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 nope. I went to the wrong place. <clears throat> just, just wait. I'm going. Thank you, Sunny. I'm going. I figured it out. <laughs> I love that I'm just getting coached by chat. Um, okay. all right. So eventually we might see you at a con. That's what, that's what I'm, that's what I'm sensing, Heidi. That's what I'm. I think we'll see you in a con first. Nicole. But I would love to see you at a con. Ah! No! Sorry. Oh, no! Sorry. Sorry for screaming. It's fine. He wanted a okay, hug. Okay, what if didn't there get were... One. Okay, I know I shouldn't bring this up at this crucial moment. Or give we passed me. him. Give it to me. Give it to me. I'm ready. What if there was just, like, the Jills? Just all... Just, just, just the Jills? Just, just the Jills. Just... The Jills. I've I've been, you know, slowly collecting the Jills, man. These you guys. have? So this is not your first Jill meeting Jill. Well, I've only had one other one, basically, because there's a face model for the... Ah, I'm sorry, the zombie. There's a face model for... Oh, God, sorry. Sorry, buddy. There's a face model for the Resident Evil 3 remake Jill. So a person who they, like, took her... They scanned her face... Like her mm -hmm. photo? Yeah. Of what, um, yeah, go. Oh, so I made it. Okay, so, so they, they scanned her, they scanned her likeness, um, so that the, uh -huh. the new remake Jill looks uh, very similar in some ways to her facial structure and like her, her eye color and that sort of stuff mm -hmm. to like, and so I met, um, her and I brought her on, um, uh, because she looks oh, like, wow. she looks like the Jill. Um, which is she looks like Julia Voth, so that's the no, apparently. No, so different. Yeah, so Julia Voth is the face model for this game, and then there this is game? a face model named Sasha Zatova, who oh. is a Russian model, um, who I spoke with because she's the face model for the Resident Evil Three remake. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and Sasha's been playing games as well. She also started streaming, having not played games before, which was super cool. Oh my gosh, that's so brave to yeah. stream when you're not a gamer, period. I mean, because I assume you have a little bit of experience. I have some. I I mostly played, um, I had a lot of Nintendo games and stuff like oh, that okay. in like my Nintendo, yeah. but I hadn't, and I had a PS4 because I've done a couple games before. So I've played some games, but I was not an expert by any means. And then, yeah. I mean, when a when a pandemic hits and like none of the jobs happen ever again like you're gonna probably hang out and play some video games as well and yeah. so i was like well i'm gonna play my game if i'm gonna play it like maybe i'll play it and let other people watch just knowing that i'm not gonna be very good but i'm gonna have fun and i'm gonna play it anyway and that's how it all started i was literally just that's like, how it started that's it i just was like i'm gonna play resident evil 3 and animal crossing because that was the other game that like, was around the same time on the switch um, okay. I'm gonna play it because I want to see the game and I want to experience it. And I was like, I'll just, I'll just play it live. And I was terrible at it, but I slowly got better. And then I was like, I'm gonna bring other my other actors on to like come, you know, watch through it with me. Because if they weren't playing yeah. it themselves, like they either have to watch YouTube or like come watch it with me. And so yeah. that's kind of how the streaming thing started. That's how it started. That's it. I just was like, I'm gonna play anyway. I might as well play with friends. And then so many amazing people showed up to just be wonderful and delightful. And, and we've just kind of continued. Oh, that's great. That's a, that's a real organic, yeah. you know, organic seed to this whole yeah, Thanks. and then, you know, I started playing other games, because once you kind of get into the flow, you're like, this is really fun! And I love seeing <laughs> other artists and people, you know, perform, too. Yeah. And so I just started yeah. playing some other stuff, and I've now, obviously, like, I'm playing other Resident Evil games, because I played RE3, and then I played yeah. um, RE2 Remake with the actors who play Leon and Claire. Okay. Um, and then as I was playing those, people were like, well, if you're going to play these, you have to play, you have to play the originals. And I was like, okay, 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 okay. I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll get there. Slow down. Slow. Slow. <laughs> um, so I started playing this for fun. And then I was uh -huh. like, wait a second. Could I bring Heidi on? <laughs> yes. But Is, I and that's how it happened? And that's it. That's, that's, that's. That's this that's whole it. story. I love it. It just was like Heidi. Heidi exists and is just seems like such a delightful human, and I would love to 
you know, I mean, we both got to take on the same role in very different circumstances. Yeah. Like, how cool yeah. is that? How different often, eras. Different eras. How often do you get yeah. to say that? The only other thing that I could really compare it to is mm -hmm. theater. Like, think about how theater, yeah. you know, people take yeah. on the same role and you get different iterations of the same role based on different performances of different shows. And so like, yeah. that's the only real comparison you can think of other than like, if there's a direct remake, but even in films, like when they're remaking a film, like the opportunity to actually meet the actor that like did, did some of it before you, you know, like it's really, yeah. really cool. That's cool. So had you, were you familiar with then the game when you were auditioning? I did know about the game series. I knew who Joe Valentine was. Um, I mean, now at this point they have movies, they have all sorts of things. So I feel like Resident Evil, whether or not you've played all of the original games is kind of a household name. There's just so many mm -hmm. games and there's, um, you know, all the, all the movies that took it very, you know, kind of approachable for non-gamers as, as well, even though they're like completely different storylines. Um, yeah. You know, I, I, I knew, you know, who it was and, and the feeling and the vibe and the survival horror nature, like it really mm. set the t standard and the tone for a lot of survival horror, um, mm. you know, as a genre. Yeah. Do you yeah, do you that. have any like favorite genres of films or TV? Do you watch any movies and, and TVs? I know you don't game. I don't game. Uh, you know, we've been, I, yeah, let's see. There's just, there's just, so much to watch these days, which has really been um, really a lifesaver during COVID. I mean, what would we do without video games and TV? I mean, we could all read, but after a little while that, you know, I love reading. That's one of my all time I, favorite. I do pastimes. as well. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't get to do it nearly as much as I want. Um, but let's see, I, I really, I haven't watched horror um, in the in the many several years because it just it's too stressful too scary <laughs> it's too scary and that makes and, sense. And, yeah I, I kind of enjoy you know I get lost in a lot of other stories but um, I don't know I don't know if there's a genre that I can say I really like but um, there's a lot of good uh, a lot of good TV uh, what did we just finished um, Oh, Hillbilly Elegy. Um, that was a, a Netflix film with okay. Amy Adams yeah. and Glenn Close. Oh yeah, my yeah, gosh. Yeah. Was How was so it? Good. We, I really liked it, you okay. know, good. and there's good. drugs in it, you know, and somebody suffering with drug addiction. And so, as you yeah. know, that's something that I bet I empathize with right. a lot. And so it was just a brutally real story. And um, Glenn Close was like amazing. Glenn Close is so incredibly talented. I'm supposed to go the other way. I'm trying to get back to this piano. That is the mission, and Sonny is trying to make that happen for me. I think this is the right door. No way, Sonny. This would be amazing if this zombie on the other side of this door doesn't eat me. You unlocked it. Ah! Oh, <laughs> everything's so much easier now. If I could press the right button. Um, all right, so you're... Liking that. Did you watch Queen's Gambit? That's another alcohol addiction. Yes, I did. What did you think? I really, I really loved it. I thought it was a beautiful piece and I really, it's so watchable. Like you can just keep watching it. It feels like a long, yeah. long extended movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, how, how, about, really, how about you? Oh, I love Queen's Gambit and I love the, the set. And, you know, it, it was kind of like uh, the marvelous Miss Maisel where you know the set design and the costumes are just no! so... sorry sorry oh, i really oh, i really oh, needed oh. to not die via the zombie oh my gosh. and i walked right oh. into him oh we're talking about miss mazel when she gets oh gosh zombie. i really needed to not do that oh, you're dead. and i didn't save in that save room like i should have wow <laughs> and so what were the um what do I do then? Do I do? It's not a. Uh, is it? It's got to be much more violent than nope, that. Nope. She just went. Ugh. <laughs> as it. As <laughs> as all she it. did. <sighs> you would think it would be more like ah, lots of you know. Like a whole thing. Yeah. Yes. 
Um, we were on Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Um, I'm still gonna, I have time. I'm gonna make this happen. I just have to rethink about what I'm doing. Uh, we're going upstairs. Yep, I got it. I got it. I got it this time. Thanks, Sunny. <laughs> you can just keep chatting about Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I know what I'm doing. No, I'm gonna make this no, happen. No, I'm really, when they do the, the full set design and the makeup and the costume and everything is just so, you're just transported to a different era. And I really feel like they did that very well with Queen's Gambit. They I did. Love that. It was beautiful. Nope, other way. Sorry. That was to myself. You are a yes, Heidi. I am a nope yeah. for going that direction. Um... <laughs> Oh, yes. look at, I'm just sitting here and you're doing all the controls over there. But so. you're, you're, you're sitting there in, in, a, in a wonderful halo of glowing magic. This is the picture that I'm painting while I... Okay, but I am now because before I was all shaded because our blinds are down and the whole thing. So, sorry about that. Was this where I was supposed to go? Yes. Oof. Can anybody in the chat help you? <laughs> nope, I, I'm doing it right. I just need to not you get got it. eaten by zombies. Oh. It's really hard. I don't know how to dodge them without using my ammo. Nobody's gonna fall over the stairs, mm -mm. over the rail. It would be nice. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in here. We might even, we might even save. I don't know might be real crazy. I just feel like I'm gonna need these saves later. All right, we're coming back to the thingy. What do you think, Sunny? Should I save again? I have five, five savey things. Please, please move in there. All right, now I have it. I haven't combined it yet, but some more stuff in here. There's a typewriter. I know, I really could save. Never hurts, I think I'm gonna save. Just so that if I make that same mistake again, it won't feel as devastating. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so where did you, you said that you saw something with me in it and it made you think of so reaching out to me? So the Residents of Evil convention that they did digitally, um, okay. you did a panel for that with the actor who did Chris, who I've also met before. Um, Joe White? Yeah. And yeah. uh, you were on a panel there, and it was, I think it was almost like right before, maybe one before uh, my panel. Excuse uh -huh. me. And so I saw you, and I was like, that's so cool. Like, what am I? I would love, I'm playing her game currently. <laughs> like. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's when, oh, that was so funny because there, Joe White was doing this panel with them, and he, um, he just Facebook messaged me and said, hey, you. Join me. I'm going to be on this thing for another 15 minutes. And it just so happened. And you, I had my makeup on because I don't make appearances without my makeup. Yeah, there is you no look way. fantastic. You look lovely without your makeup, by the way. I'm unrecognizable without my makeup. And so I was like, mm -hmm. I, I feel bad. On the panel. <laughs> so I just sat down and turned on my computer. It was like, it was such a wild thing. And here we are. Yeah, I love that. That's that would and be so why. That's where you got the idea was because of because Joe White messaged me. For, yeah, that was it. I just I saw you on that and I was like, well, if she is like you know online and like doing things, like I would love to see if she wants to come hang out. Oh, this is great. Great to hang out. Okay. Oh, that didn't help. Not even a little bit. All right. Well, I'm glad I saved. All right. You suck. Bye. So poor Jill really gets wrestles with Just these zombies. Wrestles with them viciously. In the Resident Evil 3 remake, you know, it's like 20 times more gory and like they like bite your neck. It's very intense. And so what were the sound effects you had to make for that? Mine were very aggressive. <laughs> okay, give me and a sample. I need a sample of what the sound you're making when the zombie's biting your neck. I need a sample. I mean, I did, they had a ton. So like we did the effort sessions where they're like, all right, we need 25 of this. And I was like, okay, we'll do. <sighs> um, so we did lots of like, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, yes. Um, that's very <laughs> intense and like, you know, pained. Yeah. Um, and then we had deaths. She also has like some potential like 
deaths by fire. And so I had like, all right, burn alive and then die at the end. And I'm like, great, you want that to be like five, 15 seconds? Like how long yeah. are we thinking? Like how, yeah. you know what? Can we get like a, a 10 second one and then a 20 second one and then a five second one? Yeah, sure. Oh. So, you know, burn yeah. and then die fast and then burn and then die slow. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So that's, 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 that's the thing. <laughs> But that's because so is the the game you did is is longer. I don't is know if it's, I don't know if it's longer. Honestly, I don't think it's longer. This is probably gonna take me longer than that game. But it's definitely it's How very <laughs> it's very action packed. So it's like a very okay. actiony heavy game. So you kind of uh -huh. just like go and you keep going, um, mm -hmm. and it's you know sort of her like in. an in and throughout Raccoon City. So, like, she goes into the subway system and she goes into uh, RPD for a minute and she goes into yeah. these different areas within the city. Yeah. Um, also, I finally, I did it, Heidi. I, I did the thing. This is the thing that I was going to do. Yeah. We're going to yeah. play Moonlight Sonata, which you uh, can't okay. hear, but I'm going to enjoy it. Which I can So this is one of those things where um, when people, when I did an interview with Crimson Head, people would say, do you play the piano? And I didn't know what they were talking about, really. And um, because I never knew that that was a part of the happens. story. Because as you know, there's no vo vocal performance. Right. And yeah. so I'd be like, mm, no. And then, then they'd ask me about the spray and herbs and master unlocker. And I'd... It was all, all just, of that, and you're like, well, I have no me. idea. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, really? I do? Is that what I do? Oh, I have more gold emblems. Amazing. All right, so here's what's going to happen. These are things that I need for future play, but we've officially made it, technically, to the end of uh -huh. our time. So I might uh, privately off stream go and save again where I'm at now that yeah. I've done it. Um, yeah. But I wanted to just spend the last couple minutes just chatting with you, seeing if chat has any fun questions. And I also have to address Foxbox, who was trying to help me and said, oh, um, gee, things are getting so intense and nerve wracking. We are pretty low on heels. I think there are some where we met the dog with the key outside and an herb planter and another one next to the herbicide meant for the mask. Sunny may be able to guide you. Thank you, Foxbox. I appreciate you. It's going to be real intense the further I get along in this game uh, to the number of heels that I actually have. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I will hopefully be be able to do that and not have to multitask quite as much <laughs> yeah yeah no you've had a lot going on here nicole i'm but um, i'm so grateful like i wouldn't have it any other way seriously yeah. like this is so cool no, this um, has been great I also missed one donation that I have to read from Coin222, who said, Hey, Nicole, I got your autograph the other day and framed it next to Stephanie's, who plays Claire, Heidi. Oh, okay. um, pick on Discord sub chat only. It's a real treat to have Heidi here after all these years of enjoying Resident Evil 1. At last, we now have a true Jill sandwich with extra sauce. <laughs> yes. Yay. Appreciate you. Thank you. So I think much. we are because with you on one side and me on the other, that really is a Jill sandwich. This is this is it. You know, I'm gonna just optimize this for for yeah. my cat. I'm just gonna bring Aslan right into the mm -hmm. middle. Oh. Uh -huh. Now now it's a Jill sandwich that my cat got to be in the middle of, and so oh, it's I love deliciously it. scrumptious. It has nothing to do with canon, but I sure appreciate this moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, um, Heidi. Thank you so much for coming on and, and just like literally chatting and, and hanging out. I hope to get to meet you sometime in the future in person um, at a con or otherwise, because I feel like it would be very possible. Um, yes. In the meantime, I just want to pitch again. Heidi is an author and an activist, and you should definitely follow her on Twitter because she is now on the interwebs. So go <laughs> give her a follow. Jen Von Lee is putting it in chat already. You can find her on Twitter. Oh, you're also on Instagram. Amazing. Um, so go go check out Heidi's work and make sure you drop a follow because she clearly is a gem in this in this community and offered uh, a beautiful thing to us um, in this original game. 
technically well, remake, not even original, remake. It's the remake Jills. We are the remake yeah. Jills, Heidi, in case you're wondering. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And this has just been a real pleasure. It's been a pleasure to meet you and a pleasure to be here with everyone in the chat. The community is so great. And it's been a real gift in my life. And oh. so I just want to say thank you. Thank I you. I feel for the, joy. the same way. Um, man, gosh, all of that, I mean, being said, I think we're gonna, we're gonna bring it to a close and let us both go to dinner. And uh, I'm sure we'll yeah. be emailing each other. I know we can't go out to dinner, but we can eat. I know at home, <laughs> can't uh, go out. you know, just